Hi guys, welcome to part 17 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Yes, I am really behind schedule. It is way over mid-November and I am still at this point with my Christmas Village. My bad. I had uh, much things to do in the past 10 to 15 days, not all related to the Christmas village. Once again, my bad, sorry. Uh, I also had to intensively do 3D modeling on my PC because I decided to say goodbye to the mini worm, to the little worm walking around on the leaf or caterpillar walking around on the leaf with motor etc and you have seen it in last part 16 why because i wasn't uh, convinced 100% uh, that it was adapted to the left section of the layout to the blue roofed houses section and now thanks to your kind comments that pointed that out to me I am 150% convinced. Thank you for your kind comments. And uh, I had to replace it because I don't want to let the plain middle of the left section with nothing in there. And I had to model a plan B, obviously, but also a plan C. Why? My plan B... Uh, I started modeling my plan B uh, just before showing you the uh, Iron Giant and Little Robot Girl teamed section. And after your comments, I thought if that was limit to too hard, my plan B is way over that limit maybe to gore, to splatter, to, to, to too much, to gothic and to 200 centuries in the past respect to the uh, houses that I have there. So I said, okay, I am at 90% modeling it, let's finish it, but also let's model. The plan C, much more soft, much more adapted to add some movements, a little movement, to the left section, but I will show you plan B anyway, and I am convinced that your comments will be, you were right, it is too much. And I will also try to, f to fill the squared uh, um, hole I have in the corner there, just beside the two uh, blue mansions between the mountain and the plaza behind me, with something, maybe a movement, etc. Then I will try to show you what else I modeled, because I was still missing a Cinderella. I changed my, my, second, my uh, second team at section during this time, and so my old Cinderella is no more suited for that coach, and I had remodeled it then, the entire four, fourth themed section is centered on uh, figurines and I was lacking all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, twelve figurines at least or um, eleven figurines and one prop. <laughs> so I had to model that. And then also the fifth themed section is uh, centered on figurines and I am at 50% modeling that and I had to do that because I will need to 3D print them, to, uh, to prime, to paint etc. A big amount of work uh, without counting the new figurines I have to model for the left section, the blue roofed house section. So I will try to show you as much as possible but right now I don't know I don't know what that will be 
first of all, let's say bye bye to this attraction, to this worm walking around. Well, guys, let's start with something. And first of all, I am sorry for the background noise, but the resin printer is printing right now for at least six more hours. So I wanted to add this piece of styrofoam here that is 14 by 29 centimeters to the gap I have between the plaza and the blue mansions on the right side of the layout. But what else guys, uh, I want some movement, so I will add also this piece here, that is my leg. I know I said that I wouldn't use any of the movements I had, the, the, the windmill, the, the lake, the carolers, etc. Um, but I will go with this one that is suited for that little space uh, besides the two uh, mansions. And uh, uh, it is from Lemax, obviously, it is the standard I set the pond from Lemax. And as usual, I don't want to use it like this as i've seen many 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 times uh, on the on on the internet on youtube etc with villages having just the ice ponds or some other things um splashed on to the styrofoam first level of styrofoam no i will try to go at the same age as the as the styrofoam and obviously these will have in common this with here with uh, the part of the styrofoam I already have on the layout right now. So this is the back, this is the front. I will try to manage to have the on off switch and the uh, plug here on the, this side towards the back of the layout and this will be an addition to the uh, to what I already have placed there and it will hide the hole you have there so I will go this way Okay, and uh, I will try to do a hole in here. I don't want to go uh, maybe yes, I will try to cut it with my cutting table um, and have these on the side. No, I wanted to leave uh, at least a centimeter there. So I will try this. Okay. This old fashioned uh, soldering iron that I modified the tip using some copper, having a wider uh, tip there, a rounded wider tip. 
and I will proceed like that. Step by step. Okay, so I removed all these pieces from the 29 by 14 centimeters and I had to get over the border here and also here I had to remove completely the border otherwise it would be too thin and here I have uh, here I have a little space Uh, left over in this corner here and then here I have to cut and also here but uh, this is also under the uh, ground level uh, I've never seen uh, um, ice ponds upon the ground level but always a little uh, down uh, towards the, the downside of the uh, ground level, towards the center of the earth. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> the water will get everywhere. So this, for me, is the correct way to uh, to add an ice pot, not on top of the styrofoam or on top of the. Or, but if you don't use a styrofoam, it is impossible to dig such a hole in your. Uh, plywood or in your uh, table, furniture, whatever you use. But if you use a styrofoam, you need to dig a hole in order to get the ice pond uh, um, below. That was the term I was searching. Below the ground level. Not at the ground level, not upon the ground level, but below the ground level. It was that term. <laughs> I was missing that word below the uh, ground level okay now I will do the same thing on uh, the uh, on the other part here uh, that is missing for the <laughs> what I already have of the layout I, I already have I will dig a quarter of a hole in the styrofoam in proximity of the blue uh, mansions. So here I used a slightly different technique on this part. Uh, instead of digging the hole and removing all these pieces as uh, I did before what I did, uh, knowing that this is uh, three centimeters that from the bottom to be to align the bottom and to have uh, the level of the ice pond below the ground level this uh, uh, groove here needs to be three centimeters tall so what i did as this uh, piece of styrofoam is four centimeters uh, tall or thick I removed one centimeter completely along the bottom side, so I have a square, an almost a square, a rectangular piece of uh, styrofoam of just one centimeter thickness, thick, just one centimeter, and then from uh, from the other side, I removed the perimeter corresponding at the other side. So it took me uh, less than a quarter of the time. Then I also mark it here where the alignment needs to be. Now I will use some, the, some uh, mask tape to get these together and uh, I will complete this. So some mask tape. like this, I will align this okay and now let's test
Good, it is a little more wide than what it should be. I have a little more gap, but it's not important. Obviously, this second method here is working, is uh, doable only if you can remove some part of the styrofoam you already have from the layout. But if it, this was a big giant piece of styrofoam and I already had some of the layout completed with houses, etc. No, I couldn't have done that, so need to dig as I did the hole and remove the styrofoam from, from, uh, from the, the other part, the other side. Uh, I need to place it this on the on the layout then uh, no before here I have the plug I will have the plug here mm -hmm. so I will need to have the space uh, for the plug to connect it to the AC adapter so here I will have to dig the hole good now let's try to do the groove for the plug that it is there Now that I have this, I will uh, need to <laughs> replace this where it needs to be. Then this obviously it will be hided by some tape, mask tape, as I always do. But uh, let's go and take a look if this is good. So guys, it is time to say goodbye, adios, adieu, addio to the never been used 
worm walking around on the leaf or caterpillar walking around on the leaf. I had to try to find a solution. Plan A was this one, then plan B and plan C, you will see it. This was movement. Okay, good. And uh, my first idea was to replace it with not a real movement, but with a water feature, that it is movement, because water is in movement, so it is movement. Uh, as I don't have any water feature in my 2024 Christmas Villager, uh, except for the big um, giant waterfall and a river, but they are static, they are simulated. So I say to myself, okay, let's replace it with something different and let's go with a fountain. Uh, not too big fountain and uh, I um, was uh, trying to run a, a solution having uh, my reference scale here hi Mac how are you and uh, Mac is as you can see a little more than seven centimeters tall so between seven and nine centimeter tall. Not the easy because I didn't want to hide all the houses that are present around uh, that uh, left a section, the blue roofed houses. And, uh, and don't, I didn't want to have a classic fountain or a fountain uh, with a very visible water tank, etc. No, I wanted something complicated and different. So <laughs> I went for plan B. And now you will see plan B that will never be <laughs> uh, shown on the uh, actual Christmas village, but I had it modeled at 90% as I already told you when uh, I decided to go with the plan C simply because uh, I felt that somehow the second the team at section the one with the iron giant and the robot girl was to the limit of non acceptable for a Christmas village but I'm used to be uh, over the limit but this that you will see was maybe and it is maybe too 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 much so Mac is here and my first original fountain is this one so the same eight seven centimeters guys pure victorian pure uh, uh, post gothic etc but i will approach the camera guys please look it is some sort of a blood fountain with yes water inside it but a screaming screaming sorry young girl young woman coming out from blood okay uh, obviously not real because <laughs> uh, it, it was a statue not a real girl not a real young woman uh, I also modeled some scratches on the young woman and obviously not possible because <laughs> it's only the bust there but the intention was to have this fountain here okay 
uh, as you mm, are wondering but it's not a fountain because it is uh, static uh, yes you are right so a woman uh, even from the back but maybe you can see that on the bottom there is a hole and here on the surface there are one two three four holes so what i did after modeling that i made it plain okay plain then i modeled um, a cylinder that went from the base up till uh, the starting of the young woman bust there okay and i subtracted that cylinder in order to have a cavity a uh, vertical cavity then i placed some other cylinder uh, inclined at 45 degrees in order smaller in order to reach the main cavity inside each of those one are inclined at 45 degrees and they get a hole uh, some sort of negative pipe from the central cavity to those to those holes and so these were supposed to be painted gray for the um, for the base of the statue then uh, lighter gray for the young woman and then red inside the fountain with a liquid coming out from the fountain and uh, um, spilling on the floor I even modeled some uh, I don't know if I can uh, show you but here I have some grooves that would have facilitated the spilling even there the spilling of the liquid towards the floor so no accumulation of anything but the liquid wouldn't have been simple water i even have here and i will not open it because i will ruin it but i think it is too dense some scenic blood okay some vampire blood some scenic blood and this was supposed to be the liquid coming out from the fountain there okay but i thought maybe this is too dense for a pump for a water pump because water pump as the name says it it is suited for water and this is a mini pump different from the ones you have seen me using in the past during the past seasons and uh, this water pump should have uh, took the liquid and so nothing coming out from the mouth but the red, red liquid coming out from the holes and uh, dripping down towards the floor and if the liquid was too dense, so I even purchased some um, food colorant that is red, okay, that is a red powder. As you can see, it is non-toxic because it is used in pastry to make macaron, macaroons, for example, to make lava cake, etc. And it is uh, a food pigment, a food red colorant, okay? And it was non toxic. And these can be uh, used in some water. The, mm, uh, the water will uh, um, dilute it and make a perfect red liquid to use in the pump without being too dense as this liquid I think it is 
and uh, this is uh, rich uh, blood, rich scenic blood, so it is dense as blood, but it risks to also to um, to oxidate and to to dry very easily and to block the pump. But this one no, because uh, you have just to watch out not to to add too much powder, too much uh, pigment, red pigment into the water, and then it will flow like that all along the season. Uh, so I had a double choice and I had everything uh, prepared starting from the pump this is as you can see a USB pump so it needed to be attached to a USB power source I will not place uh, my notebook or my PC near the Christmas Village and this pump uh, it's taking 5 volts because USB output from any power source or the any PC is 5 volts this pump is able to function between 3 and 6 volts okay it has a wide range of functioning uh, functioning so I even prepared the pump how um, replacing the cutting out oops <laughs> some powder spilled from the bottle and now I have red here you see it's just a question of mixing a little of that power and the red liquid is here guys okay and it is a real pigment so my hands are forever red right now <laughs> no it's a joke uh, anyway um, it has still some water inside i prepared this pump uh, cutting the usb connector and adding my usual uh, 5.5 by 2.1 connectors that i use for every of my buildings etc and those pumps, pump, water pumps, come in um, in some two different shapes. This one is to use horizontally with the water being aspired by this face here and coming out from there. Or uh, this other version, so aspire, push, aspire, push, 90 degrees between aspiration and uh, uh, and uh, blow uh, water blowing this one is parallel the water is taken from the bottom and the flow goes there so the, this pump can be used like this and this one like this it all depends on what purpose you want to use it so uh, I prepared this uh, little pump here and uh, and this pump here through a simple PVC pipe was supposed to work like this and all was modeled to have the pipe getting to the uh, to the base of the fountain okay not too big, not too visible, uh, same scale, the girl has the same scale as, um, as Mac here, so everything in scale. And this uh, was the, uh, the system I've decided to use. And the water was supposed to be contained in these uh, <laughs> fridge storage container, plastic fridge storage container, uh, almost squared, so 17 centimeters inside and 18 centimeters considering uh, the outside, okay? And uh, uh, it's not the 
brand that has recently uh, gone out of the market okay it's nothing so it was supposed to work like this the pump inside uh, the tube the pipe the pipe inside this here okay this here and then on top of the fountain something that would have allowed the liquid the red liquid to flow once again into the container and so a closet circuit for the liquid to go uh, through the holes there, uh, dripping down on the container, then once again the pump, etc. getting up. Then I was thinking to use this one, but this one has been modified for the new fountain. Imagine that this was redu reduced in dimension and I modeled this as uh, some sort of manhole that you find uh, on, on the streets, okay? But not, not a closed main uh, manhole, but a manhole that will allow maybe the rain to get into the sewer, okay? And the central was modeled, and it is still modeled like that, to accommodate the pipe okay uh, like that so with this in mind that it is uh, obviously i remodeled and reprinted the cover that it is 18 by 18 i still need to to file it a little but it's not now that i must file this 18 by 18 centimeters so reduce it in dimension and the liquid getting once again there so no accumulation of liquid of water or liquid in a tank as a classic fountain but some sort of blood fountain as i told you and this is Plan B, that maybe you are considering too much. I even modeled this shorter than what I would have wanted because otherwise I would have went like this one, but it was not realistic. But with the same scale between the young woman and, uh, and uh, the figurines, it would have been another another choice okay another thing and uh, but this is a plan b up to you <laughs> to tell me if it was too exaggerated i know that a red liquid is not suited for christmas but why not santa's is red even if originally it was green and white in northern european uh, mythology uh, and then you know why <laughs> it, it became uh, red because uh, of the necessity to have a commercial from a very, very, very known soda can. Okay, <laughs> let's call it like that. Otherwise, Santa has always been white and green mm, as a... Uh, uh, a forest mythological being okay so instead of this and please tell me if it was exaggerated or not i can always put back the original things i modeled but i don't think you will be there so red liquid could have also be <clears throat> uh, a way of uh, celebrating Christmas with red, okay? Uh, up to you. Instead, I will always keep this system, okay? But instead of going with that blood fountain, I will go, oops, 
and there is still some water inside. I tested it obviously off camera. It is this is the new fountain. And the old fountain, the blood, would haven't been out of place because the architecture I've used for the blue roofed house houses come from the past or so from the Gothic centuries, uh, modernized towards Victorian era, but they were uh, Gothic in origin, with the pointy spikes, etc. So even a Gothic fountain wasn't out of its place, but maybe too shocking for a Christmas village. Instead, I will use this other type of fountain that uh, it is modeled differently. The base is stone, then a square head, uh, some sort of pedestals with some gems, four gems here and a big giant gem here on top that will have five different colors and some runic symbol there. And uh, it will be some sort of way of recalling also the four the team at section, the one with only figurines. And I will explain the connections when I will show you all the figurines for the uh, fourth uh, team at the section. And the same thing is for mod the same technique of modeling. So I modeled this uh, structure, then horizontal cylinder to subtract from the main in the middle. Then these are four 45 degrees but horizontals inside the pipes to collect the water from the middle towards each of the four uh, ground level gems or stones. Then the central hole, the central pipe continues up until the top that has three holes. The gems here have one hole, the other have the top gem here has three holes. Okay, and this is supposed to be the same sort of fountain uh, with no water accumulation and uh, flowing, continuous flowing but here the liquid was supposed to get just a little jump towards the floor so no splashing almost no splashing here i had to change uh, the water flow if here the flow would have been enough to get over to the, uh, from the ridge uh, of the um, from the perimeter of the container of the fountain here i have i had to choose to go with the flow vertically to reduce the power because otherwise here if uh, the water went down i would have had a big splash with the necessity to have a container on the on the downside so here the principle the technique is the same and I've used the, the same, uh, the same uh, dimensions for the central hole but here instead uh, okay like this and I just need to uh, to enlarge a little more the central because I've used some resin on the pipe ok 
okay then here like that obviously these needs to be to be painted okay and then uh, as before the pipe inside the pump these on top here like that and central like that okay and uh, as you can then obviously the back pipe is pulling this so i will need to fix this in some how like and that okay uh, let me try quickly and one there okay it's not aligned perfectly but for the simple purpose and then it will be like that guys okay because um, and these obviously would have been the same for this fountain here but reduce it in diameter I've said to myself <laughs> why not uh, having some sort of very short wall and a way to give the possibility to allow people to sit on the fountain if they wanted all around and having also some sort of wall all around like a normal fountain will be okay so it is like that and uh, um, and and this will flow there and the liquid in this case the water will flow in there okay uh, last thing before passing to getting to something else if you wanted to see how it will work i will show you uh, so i think this water here i think will be enough and then like that I this should be perfectly horizontal in order to have that's why I I will need to glue this to the base uh, after having it completely painted uh, one thing before going ahead I've already told you that this kind of a CDC uh, adapter uh, switching power supply these are CDC power supply are multi voltage going from 3 going from 3 to 12 volt so 3 4.5 5 6 7.5 9 and 12 volts and the pump there works between 3 and 6 volts obviously the less you, you get, the less voltage you get, the less flow you will have. And uh, I tested it with 3 volts, 3 volt, 2 lower flow, and the water didn't come out from <laughs> the holes. You, are, you know, if you know um, something about fluid dynamics it would have been just a matter of shortening the black pipe i tried that but it was still not enough power so i went to 4.5 volts 
and push. I got water everywhere, especially from those old hills that, due to inclination, makes a parable. Getting water everywhere because it was already too powerful. But this is only 3, 4.5, 6, etc. There is no voltage in between 3 and 4.5 volts. I was in a real um, big mess and um, in real trouble. I understood that the correct voltage was between 3 and 4.5, but I have no mean of testing it. Then uh, I realized that I had something. And guys, it's not just a matter of putting some resistors because it is the intensity, so the amps that control the flow. Uh, voltage and amps together, but adding some resistors wasn't not sufficient. I should have inserted some diode um, instead in series, but each um, diode you add um, lower the voltage from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 volts and it is not precise so I should have wired I don't know how many voltage. Then I, uh, I remember it that when I made the new um, camera slider controlled by a PlayStation uh, controller and uh, an ESPN32, so a microcontroller, I used a voltage regulator. That is this little beast here. So in and out. The voltage come in from this side and went out there. And this has also that mini, tiny, almost invisible screw. And this is a standard potentiometer, so it had more or less resistance to the voltage, to the current also, that passed through there, but mainly to the voltage. So it's like having some very tiny, almost invisible uh, resistors, series of resistors inside here. So I went with a 3 volt. Uh, and it wasn't enough. So I decided, uh, so I will go with 4 pine, 4.5 volts, that it is too much. Uh, this is uh, a power, a voltage regulator to lower something to something else. It cannot increase because the source is the main focus. So I decided I will go with 4.5 volt, that is too high. And then I will regulate the potentiometer, the little screw with a screwdriver, in order to reduce it until I get the correct voltage to not spill the water everywhere. So I choose to go uh, with 4.5 volts here instead of 3 volts. 4.5 and then place it in between the voltage regulator. So now here I have 4.5 volts, that is too much, it will spill the water everywhere, but instead I will get these 4.5 volts uh, inside inside this power, this voltage regulator, this voltage lowerer and uh, I will get it 
into the, the pump, the water pump regulated. I've tried, I tried, I tried, and the correct voltage to have a good amount of water coming out and not spilling everywhere once the pump and the fluid, etc., is uh, working for some minutes because otherwise I have uh, air inside everything is 3.68 volts. And I will never forget it. 3.68 volt not 3.7 because it is too much not 3.65 because it's too low but 3.68 let's get the flow and the air getting out from everywhere because in the pump right now there is air and also into uh, the, the fountain itself and uh, you are hearing the sound maybe of the water getting okay so the water is getting from each hole, each simulated pipe. Let me go with the flow on top in order to get out all the air. Okay, and the water is not spilling anywhere. Okay, it will take some minutes, but I think you are seeing it. Maybe I will get you a closer look, but it's not now that you will see it. But the water is coming out from each of the horizontal uh, gemstones there and also from the three holes on top of there. Uh, it will take three to five minutes to get uh, the correct flow and everything else because there is the air inside. Okay, not too much water, but the water flowing uh, through every holes and getting on the side of the, of the fountain. And if this is only the water I spilled, I spilled myself, but if I get this out and I will go like that, uh, you will see that no water will spill over the perimeter I marked there with the holes. So it will not spill the water. And even it will spill, I have this one that will cover and I have no accumulation of water on the surface, nor any spilling of water on the, on the, on the ground there, okay? And it has the sound of water getting through. And you can hear uh, the water. Obviously, the container will not be visible. All will be under the ground level, sorry below the ground level and the styrofoam will be at the same level of the square red part you are seeing here right now and it will be and it will be horizontal also because right now it is not horizontal and it will be horizontal and the water will get over 
uh, if I see that I have a loss of power, I can always do a little adjustment on the power and get it to 369 maybe. But right now, I don't have any spilling here. I don't have any spilling of water. Okay, guys? And this will be sealed. So even if the water spills from here to there, I will not get the rest of the layout uh, um, moisted or damaged by water. This is taking a little longer, but you, as you are already seeing, uh, the flow from the top is getting uh, more and more water coming out. I simply need to find the hole, voila, like that. And it will even be uh, much more. It is the same technique, the same principle as I wanted for the other fountain, for the blood fountain, with the water not getting up and not splashing anywhere, not spilling, but getting simply in a closed circuit there. And it also adds the sound of water, that it is a calming sound, okay? And I still have pigment on my hands, it is a beast, that pigment. It is a real beast, okay? And this is the fountain. And uh, far from being completed, but I think this is a good addition to the blue roofed houses section. See you for something else. Now, guys, let's talk about some snow. Yeah, you have just seen me trying some compounds and I only shown you the final result, uh, especially with Rebecca's house. So first on Rebecca's, Rebecca's house section, I tried this compound here, not sponsored, guys, never been sponsored and no products at all here are sponsored. But I tried this compound here, that it is uh, snow, obviously, but it's not quite good because it's not very reflective, as I said that the snow should be, and then it doesn't tend to, uh, to cure needles, to, um, become more solid uh, after some time and it is from a Spanish company. So I switched to this snow here, the previous one first, uh, um, before this one I tried another one but less satisfactory than uh, everything. So this one too is from a Spanish company, not the same Spanish company. It is called uh, Arctic Snow and it is the one you have seen on Rebecca's house that right now it is uh, some sort of uh, uh, jelly compound, okay? Not that jelly, but it is a jelly compound uh, that tends to become plastic uh, after some hours. And so you can, you have to quickly model heat, uh, it, uh, not heat, but it, before it starts uh, curing, okay? Uh, and right now it is somehow jelly. It uh, resembles some water with some flour inside, but not very well. Uh, mixed etc and uh, also with some small crystals or something like that obviously when you apply some snow you must uh, ask yourself where snow it is best supposed to accumulate on a roof especially on a touched roof like this one Certainly not on the steep 
sections much more ideally yes on a touched uh, roof like this one because it tends to um, to slow down the fall of the snow that's why I'm using this as example starting from this one because it will be the roof with the most of snow on top of it and then uh, each time I reach a flat zone, like in this case, around, around the chimney, even if it is just a little touch because the chimney, obviously, it is somehow hot, okay? So just a little bit on the chimney like that, uh, as if, uh, <coughs> sorry, as if there's no just it just finished uh, snowing. Then, uh, obviously, on a flat surface like this one inside, and uh, I will go with some snow, not that much. I want, don't want to cover the, the gold and everything else, but a little of snow there. Then, along here, some snow. And with an house that it is a little different, very steep and only some little corner there, uh, normally I will add uh, on the flat a little more snow.
Okay guys, I think it will be enough. The first one, yes, it is already almost dried. Almost plastic, okay. It's a question of uh, seconds and then I will I will move them onto the layout. This one has uh, I was saying, uh, sorry, this one has some more uh, snow that tends to go on the ground, uh, getting down from the roof. This is the back side, so not very, not very visible, but here, yes. So a little more snow, irregular snow here and there. I tried to make some uh, spiky snow. Okay, it's not always uh, possible with the compound as uh, uh, jelly as it is in the beginning, uh, in the first minutes, then I will try to remodel it. But this one is too late, it has already hardened on the surface. So that is how I will continue doing the snow on all the blue roofed houses at least now guys time to reveal a part of uh, team at the section number four so the fourth team at section that would be an itinerant some sort of itinerant uh, team at the section only made by this prop here and a bunch of figurines uh, what is this? This is a giant, a giant stone throne, okay? Stone thrones like that, two steps, one step, two steps, and then the sitting place. And then the back of the throne that will be taller than the figurine that will be seated here. And the head of the figurines tends to be at this level here, so this is a big throne, a completely stone throne with some Nordic design here and there. And I even modeled uh, some sort of uh, nax and uh, a number uh, together here on the back and the shield also. And if you go with this line here, you will see a shield. And on top of the shield, it is the handle there. And then a hammer from one side, an axe from another side, or maybe also a spear. But it's too short to be a spear. So for me, that was in my mind a hammer, an axe, and a shield. And then on top here, a couple or maybe a twin um, hawk head one and two or eagle head so uh, two heads there with the eagle or the oaks that are screaming and have a ferocious look look at the high there it is closed in the front, like some, I wanted to threaten you, I want to threat you, etc. And they are screaming, um, uh, a war scream, or a fighting scream, or another to scream. But they are here to, the, to tell, I am on this throne, I am important, I will shout to you and those are my protectors from the sky okay you will not imagine right now what will be on the throne and these will not be on the, uh, inside the room or anything else but it will be in plain middle of some part of the layout okay uh, and this is the back okay but don't worry about the one two three four holes uh, they are intended to be there because this is not 
um, completely uh, full inside. It is hollowed, so it is like if it was a shell, an external shell, and then inside it is completely empty to avoid the waste of resin. It is useless to waste so much resin. It is uh, a fifth of the resin needed right now uh, that it is hollowed. And those holes are there to prevent the resin to accumulate inside because this has been printed like this upside down so while this was printing from the uh, bottom up, up 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 starting from this point here and the last point that was printed was this point here so on the bed it is like that if the FDM printer prints from the bed up <laughs> the resin 3D printer prints the opposite one uh, from the, um, the, the bed but getting up so the last part that will be printed is this side but it is upside down and through those holes that you have also on the, on the bottom there the resin can flow away and if not I will uh, uh, wash this under the water, under hot water, and uh, push some water inside in order to clean what is inside. And uh, if I don't use those oars with an hollow wed, a proper figurine, like in this case, the left inside resin in some days, in some weeks, or in some months with some sort of vaporize inside or some sort of boiling without hot temperature and then the figurine or the prop in this case or this stone will crack inside uh, out okay like alien the first alien 1978 if you remember it or if you were already born it was a shock i was 80 years old I didn't expect such things, I went with my parents and when I saw Alien like that, okay, uh, I had <gasps> but I didn't cry, I always loved science fiction, so I was, uh, since I started reading, I started with uh, the space reefs, okay, uh, we are not here um talking about the science fiction but about this if you don't eliminate the resin inside this e the the figurine or the prop will uh, perish like it happens to uh, my fighting monk two seasons ago j that was then uh, um, replaced by a jj in plain middle of the season and in the same season and I still have it. The organ grinder, <laughs> it took me a week to model with Abu, the monkey from Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin on top of the, of the organ. And uh, the handle there was connected to this part here. But if you look there, you will see that the has cracked from the inside toward the outside and the end before was <laughs> okay it has finished being cracked okay it has cracked like and this from the inside because I haven't I didn't uh, dig some holes and you can see that the figurines has no holes so the resin that was trapped inside has exploded him okay Sorry, organ grinder. Yes, I can still replace it. But this is a constant reminder of what I shouldn't do, what mistakes I can do. I <laughs> still have what I modeled. And I can surely uh, 3D print another, uh, another one of these. But this is the symbol of my mistakes and uh, try to imagine why I made those grooves here. Those are holes that will be covered, obviously. Once uh, I'm sure there is no more 
resin or mix of resin and water inside I will seal them correctly and but those grooves will remain on this throne someone will be seated who may be I will not tell you I know I said that I would have revealed the figurines, all the figurines from this steamed section, but instead, as I am bad, I will not. Bye! Final recap of part 17 of the 2024 season, and it will be a very short final recap. I could dedicate only a very few little hours to my Christmas village, during the past 10 to 15 days. My bed, my work, it was a mess. So forgive me for that. Please, please forgive me. Now, the fountain there in plain middle of the blue roofed houses section. And as you can see, it will not prevent uh, you to see what is around this big section. And uh, I dig here a squared hole, 18 by 18, and now the fountain is completely at the same level as the ground, so 18 by 18. And it will be also accessible to add some more, some more water <laughs> during the season if uh, it will lack water and it will stop working. It's not complete, you know, I still need to glue everything, to paint, to prime, to paint, etc. But it will be there, and don't forget that here also there will be a big giant surprise. Uh, the snow there that uh, has started to get very hard right now, and without the snow they have a different look, but with snow and the places like that, irregular snow, it is more realistic I think so now that was Rebecca's house like that it will become as as Rebecca's house there's no once uh, um, cured once the compound will cure this one that I started uh, before the other one it is already plastic and I can no more <laughs> uh, no, no more remove anything okay uh, but it is intended to be like that, pure snow like that. I certainly will add also some snow on the roof of uh, <clears throat> the little gazebo there. Uh, it's not a patio, it's a gazebo, yes. Then uh, I will add something there and other things, uh, um, some more of those trees obviously but with snow on top of them the houses will change aspect this one uh, is as the roof not that steep as uh, this one so it will have some more snow on top of it especially there uh, and i didn't want to cover completely the roof there so i managed to remove some of the snow it wasn't a very very attractive with all that snow on top of this roof here that is the the, mo the one that is uh, almost uh, completely uh, horizontal okay then then what else i told you it was a very very quick final recap nothing changed there uh, here you still have the the section the polemic section i know let me call it polemic section even if I know there are no polemics, uh, maybe yes. And then the giant stone throne and compared with Mac there, you can understand how giant, how giant it is, okay? Uh, it is somehow for a giant? No, no, it is not. But it will take some space because 
it is not complete it lacks the someone seated there then some other figurines around okay and uh, that's oh no guys that's not all because on the back now you have the three uh, skaters skating on the ice at the pond and I don't have no more giant square at all there you see me a lot of things um, trees vegetation some fences to get inside but I even added the uh, skate rental uh, stall a little little store there then here completely to do what a lack of work during the past days I should have completed that and that the two sides of the mountains and the market there should have been completed by now and also everything else painted the stairs etc but this is a very short very very short the final recap uh, oh yes I was told some months ago mm, a heavy metal band is not a heavy metal band without a bass player so you have the sax that it has nothing to do with the heavy metal band but come on what else could play a very kind white rabbit if not a sax and then guitar there and then lead the singer then a groupie then drummer very ferocious drummer and yes you were right i still have a spot there for a bass player and it is modeled guys it is modeled i finished two hours ago of modeling it while the 3d printer was printing something the resin 3d printer this is not from a resin 3d printer this is from the fdm the filament printer but the resin printer was printing three items that will complete the second team section i know i know i made a mistake this is not the second team section and also in the, the um, in the first minutes I call this the second no guys this is the first team at section that is the second team at section this one has always been the third team at section or vice versa I don't care but the team at section are one two or three and two this one to a team at section and I still miss two team at section okay and then this one should have been a giant team at section the fifth one it will not be because instead i prefer to go with some of your suggestions and so the rebecca's section is there and not complete but it is there i still have some space there to add something okay and uh, and then and then i don't know what to use as a wall here to delimitate this wall here this second image section i cannot use the same walls i use it for the graveyard because they aren't too old i haven't modeled them too old and they are pretty new like that so I will have to try to find another solution. Uh, what are those grooves for? I beg your pardon? No, 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 Mac. Nothing to do with Game of Thrones. But I see you are a very good reader. Maybe in some months, but certainly not in this 2024 season. I'm really sorry to have produced so little work for this part 17, but priorities first, and the past 10 to 15 days were hell, 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 hell. Now, I'm also really sorry 
to have said no to this little fountain here. That it is very tiny compared to the other one, to plan C. But this plan B, I don't know. I may have some regrets. Yes, to splatter, yes, to go, yes, to gothic, but Victorian era is just two centuries after playing gothic times. So why not? And I also know that this is not an Halloween village, Spooky Town village. But a little of uh, strange things sometimes. <laughs> I'm still conflicted, really conflicted. But it's not up to me to judge. <laughs> okay. If you can, please comment. But be honest, as always. Please be honest. Uh, the snow, the new fountain, the movement, the ice at pond are there. I will add certainly some more things. And sorry for being so rude or so bad or so gore <laughs> to have not shown you the, all the other figurines. They are ready. They are there. Need, just simply need to be primed and painted. 1.5 hours minimum for each one, 11, uh, no, 10 figurines, so 15 to 17 hours of work for painting and then. <coughs> okay, let's go. My, my hands are ready to go. And what else, guys? I, no, I'm really sorry, as I already told you. Please, and don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english bearing bearing my absolutely awful yes my absolutely awful english and uh, see you for part 18 but only if you really want bye guys